Thanks for watching with us. The holiday tradition continues at the Green Bay Botanical Garden. And the WPS Garden of Light shines bright each year. Our Emily Byer joins us live now in Green Bay with more. Good morning, Em. Good morning, Brooke and Gina. Hello, everyone. You guys, we have to give a round of applause. We are talking to Dave Barco. You're the one who does all this hard work to put this together. This is incredible to get to see. This is a lot of hard work. Tell me, when do you get started setting everything up for the garden? Yeah, the garden we, start, of we start early October. Uh, it takes wow. about seven weeks. It's just not myself, but it's their staff and then also about 10 to 15 volunteers. Sure, but it's incredible when you get to see the end product and with the music. Mm -hmm. really adds to the festive time of season. Tell me, what is it like? Like we're here at the Caterpillar. This is where, I mean, we see these photos on Instagram and people love to have these in their mm -hmm. Christmas mm -hmm. card. What is it like to know that you guys are providing that? Yeah, this is by far the most popular uh, display that we have. Oh. It's very popular with uh, wedding engagements. Yes. Um, we've had a couple already this year. Mm -hmm. um, it consists of 20,000 lights. Right. It's beautiful. I love being able to see it. So then, are, what is it? Are there any like challenges with you guys when you guys are setting this up and getting it all ready for everybody? I mean, you guys are busy little elves trying to get this ready. Right, right. Yeah. <laughs> this, this one takes about, uh, well, we took five hours, but we had 10 okay. volunteers oh, helping us wow. put it together. So it took That's a good, good, good part of the morning to get together and the weather has been a little bit of a challenge but we plowed through it and we're all set up and ready to go yeah you were saying with the weather i think a lot of people are kind of you know the weather's yeah. been something to gripe about this year but being able to come out and enjoy it there's only a, a few more dates throughout the calendar year that people can come out and see mm -hmm. this and enjoy it all um what is the feedback that you get from folks when they're able to get out here and see the hard work that you guys put together for this I think they're surprised how, how much there really is here and what to see and it's something different and mm -hmm. I think uh, people appreciate that. Yeah, and working within these gardens, I mean, there's something new to check out every year, right? Correct, yeah, every year we add another uh, display and we also move a lot of things around so that they look different from year to year. Yeah, oh, I love that so much. So you guys, we're gonna be checking out some of those new things coming up here throughout the morning. So you're gonna have to stay with us to learn more. Brooke and Gina, we'll send it back to you guys, but I think everyone needs to come out here this season before it's over. I think you're right, Emily. Thank you so much. Do you know you've been in the area for a few mm -hmm. years now? Have you have you gone and seen this yet? No, I have not. Actually, I've never been to any like light show type of thing. Um, Duluth, Minnesota, was the first time I did. Oh, okay. So like when you have like huge volunteers, you know, coming out helping, it's great. Another thing. Do it when there's snow on the ground, because we're going to be doing a lot of melting this weekend. Sure. You don't want to be going through a light show with a brown ground. <laughs> yeah, for yeah, sure. It's a lot but more festive. This one is really worth seeing, so yeah. I suggest it. Still ahead, more.